Hello, friends. Welcome to episode 92 of the Nope Coach podcast. I'm your host, Suzanne Kohlberg. And I want to know, do you have a stealth butt <laughs> with one T? I know where some of you went with that. <laughs> so I'm a coach and I work with a lot of people in their resistance. And it's so common to have resistance to change because if we didn't, we'd have the result already. So a lot of people, we self-flagellate, we berate ourselves for being stuck in a rut or being stuck in resistance. And I'm like, this is my jam. This is my bread and butter. I love helping clients with this when they're open to it. So I educate, discuss, uncover a lot with people how things like but, yes, but, I tried that, but, really, you know, we have familiarity. I can never say that word. I don't know why I keep trying it. <laughs> With how that gets in our own way. I tried that, but it didn't work and here's why. So what happens from there is a lot of people become savvy to my line of questioning and they have what I call a stealth but in that they catch themselves before they say, yes, but. And they'll do something like, yes, however... Yes, in the past, and they kind of get away from it, get around it, make it sound like they're not coming up with a a reason, an excuse for why they aren't doing the thing. And I am also particularly skilled at the stealth butt. So think of something that you've tried. My own coach, I'm fresh off recording this from a session with my own coach, where she called me out on this. My, you know, she didn't use the term stealth, but I, I thought of that afterward, but, but <laughs> I was like, I tried that before. And, and it was like, Ooh, did you, and she didn't let me get away from it. Okay. You tried this before when, and I gave her the details, how long, what was the result? Like we really did this post-mortem on this marketing activity that I've tried and my, my, <laughs> My try was I sent like two emails and did one Facebook post and then threw this thing away, like threw the baby out with the bathwater. And where do you let yourself off the hook? What if, Whatever it is for you. For me, it's often, you know, in selling something. I'm like, oh, I told something about people about it once and that was it. So it didn't work. And it's like, oh, really? Like if you're not all in, then the people aren't going to be all in. Thinking, I can think about back to my dieting days. Like I tried that diet once as in I paid to join the place. I printed off all the recipes and it's funny. I'm currently decluttering my house because we may or may not be moving. We're not sure yet, but I was like, in the meantime, decluttering is always a good thing. So I looked at the shelf of all the recipe books and stuff. And I was like, I never use these anymore. I either know how to cook or I just quickly Google it and have it on the iPad. I don't actually use the recipe books. So the number of folders that I got off the shelf and had like, I I was always so dutiful when I joined 12 WBT or Weight Watchers or whatever diet it was, I printed them all off and I tucked them in the folders. And I was like, I'm not throwing these folders away. They're great. I'll recycle the paper, but I'll retain the folders for the kids. And I'm like, when something didn't work, how much of it was I didn't really try? Like I tried for five minutes and I was like, oh, this is too hard. And I let myself off the hook and then I gave myself the excuse, oh, but that didn't work. So what is it that you're trying to do? Is it release weight? Is it build a business? Is it find a partner? Is it save a deposit for a house? And have you really gone all in or have you kind of dabbled around the edges and been like, oh, but I tried that and it didn't work. There's so much a difference between like even, you know, listening to a podcast, you're like, oh, I, I, you know, I understood the concept and it didn't work is very, very different from I committed, I tried, I slipped up, I pivoted, I went back. Like I think so many people like entrepreneurship, you know, early in business. Someone was asking me the other day, how long did it take to have a consistent income? I was like, I think my business now is a toddler. In the beginning, businesses are a baby. They need a lot of energy. They need focus. They need attention. And then they reach the phase where they're a toddler and they're, you know, kind of demanding and stuff, but at least they don't need the constant thing. 
where was I going with this? It was, yeah, many people give up too soon. They they listen to some get rich quick podcast or read a book, you know, get six figures in 60 days. They half ass the strategy and then it doesn't work and they go, I wasn't supposed to be in business. It's work. Whatever your goal is, whatever you're transforming to will be work. And when I say work, it doesn't have to be hard slog 24 seven, go hard or go home. Cause you're anything like me, you'd rather just stay at home. But there is that daily action of showing up for yourself, showing up for your goals and committing to that and pivoting and going through the ups and downs and the, the roundabouts and the roller coaster ride that it is sometimes. And taking this topic home back on topic, you know, do you have a stealth butt? Think of something that you desire, that you want to create. I want to own my own home, but I don't have enough for a deposit. I want to run my own business, but I don't know where, where to start. I want to lose weight, but no diets work for me. And then if it's a stealth butt, you know, however, my past attempts haven't been great or in, you know, notice that. And I'd love for you to let me know in the comments, if you're watching this on YouTube, what's your stealth butt? Where in your life is it? Or if you catch yourself having listened to this episode, notice where you catch yourself today and come back. Cause I bet you, when you, when you look for it, you tend to see it. There's so many things. Uh, I work with clients with boundaries a lot and they're like, oh, but I've, I've tried that before. When we, when we install boundaries, there's the first conversation we have. So say, for example, my children aren't allowed into my office except for an emergency. Explaining that to them the first time and then reminding them of the boundary and then reminding them of the consequence. And then, you know, it's not just, it's not a one and done. It is a process. And people often think, oh, I told them and they didn't respect me or whatever. Sometimes they simply forgot. Sometimes they weren't paying attention. Like I could do a whole other episode on on boundary setting, upholding, reminding and this. But for so many things in life, it isn't a once and done. It's not as simple as the wall of my office is white and now I'm going to paint it and it's blue and it's blue on here on out until I paint it again. It is that reminding, is that work, it's that process, it's that unpacking. So many things in life aren't as simple as let's just paint the wall. It is a process. So all that to say, do you have a stealth butt? What is it? I'd love to know in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoy the show, please leave me a review. If you really enjoy the show, if you head over to my website or my link tree, you can get my link tree from Facebook or Instagram. Um, there is a little button there, donate. I would really appreciate you sending a donation. You can do a once-off or you can do a recurring one. It really helps podcasters. It doesn't have to be much. Like <laughs> someone sent me a message once, you know, love your latte and sent me $5. That is fabulous because it goes towards, you know, the costs of production, the costs of the time of putting it in. And it just goes to show that you love the show. And I so appreciate that. So there's no donation too small. I know sometimes people think, oh, it's only a couple of dollars. It's not the amount of money. It's the the receiving. It's the knowing that I'm being seen and heard and that I'm appreciated. And whatever the amount is, no amount is too small. So if you feel called to donate, please uh, find that donate link either on my website under resources. You should see it there as donate. And my website is suzannekolberg.com. Or if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can see the link there to my link tree. It's one of the options there. I think it says send me some love. So yeah, I love that so much. Thank you. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.